today we're gonna show you how to make flower pots out of coffee cans. These make great gifts and we made these for Kimberly and Lindsay which are my other two daughters and my sisters <laughs> and her sisters and what we did was I painted a few of the bird houses and she painted a few yes. of the bird houses and that way we have a little bit of both of us giving the gift of this flower pot You're going to need an electric screwdriver. And you're going to randomly put holes in the bottom so that when you water it, the water will come out. This is the kind of paint I'm going to use on my pots. It's a Krylon indoor-outdoor metal, wood, wicker, and more. It's a flat white, and I figured it would be easy to paint over to decorate. You want to paint the inside, too. pick this because it's a very mild color. And we just paint a coat over top of it. So I'm just going to paint the bottom and I'm just going to brush up so it looks like grass. We're going to do the flowers that are underneath of the birdhouses and we're just going to draw grass at the bottom and then we'll put flowers after it dries so we'll take the green and we'll just make wispy little grass which it's hard to do with one hand the next thing we're gonna do is make the bird houses and I'll just pick out some of these bird houses and randomly put them all the way around my little pot. Here are some examples of our birdhouses in case you need some ideas. This is how you do the flowers. You put four little dots and you make them different sizes in different areas underneath. Now I take the yellow and I put dots in between each of the flowers like this. Now I'm going to make little clouds. You just kind of make little puffies like this. And you do it sporadically around like this. See how cute that looks. Now I have glitter glue that I'm going to put around the clouds because I think that looks really pretty. And I just take a little bit and squirt it around because if you put too much, it'll run. And you don't want your glitter clouds to run. But see how pretty that is? Our pots have dried and now we're going to get the crystal clear Krylon and we're going to spray it to seal it. We need a glue gun and some glue sticks. Now you get the glue gun and you make four 
little dots and I put a good amount that way it can hold the bottom on really good and this way it'll hold the tray on and when you water the plant the excess water will be held into the tray which is actually the lid to the container now you put your lid on the glue make sure it's even and then you kind of just smooth over the little bits of glue that stick out the bottom of the planter I'm going to have her write her name and to mom and the date so that when I em empty my planter I know when and who made my planter for me you take your coffee filter and you put it in the bottom of your pot so that your soil doesn't go through your holes but the water can flow through the coffee filter quite easily now you take your soil and you fill your new flower pot then you take your seeds and I'm just gonna sprinkle them all around in there and then I'll put a little bit more soil over the top and then you water it and that's all you do we hope you enjoyed watching us make our coffee can flower pots see you next time bye flower pot flower pot oh flower flower pot flower pot flower pot oh flower flower pot flower pot da doom 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 flower pot it's funny how I knew that song, just like you. <laughs> no. Cheers. Cheers. We, we love, love you, kids.